Hello everyone and welcome back to the Joypad channel where I am starting a new playthrough of a new game. Now you may know that I just recently finished playing Breath of Fire 2 and if you watch that you heard me say multiple times that uh, I don't know if I'm going to do another RPG. I shouldn't do another RPG. RPGs take up too much time. Um, there's so much to do with the random battles but God, I just, I enjoyed Breath of Fire 2, and all playing Breath of Fire 2 made me want to do is play Breath of Fire 3. So you know what? I'll play Breath of Fire 3. Dragon, I don't know about this. So this is our uh, attract slash intro for the game. Come on, it's really high quality stuff. We got Mogu and Gary. Mogu is the little mole person. It's a reference to Mogu from Breath of Fire 1, of course. When magical beings die, their bodies slowly transform into the ore known as Chrism. Chrism? Chrism? I always pronounce it Chrism. I don't know. The dragon tried to destroy the world. Dragons tried to destroy the world. Yep. Fought a huge war. The war. Again, I don't know the continuity of the Breath of Fire timeline. I sure wouldn't want to meet a dragon. I don't... I imagine it goes 1, 2, 3, but it might be 1, 3, 2. Yeah, but they're extinct now. I don't know. I don't know. I really should look it up, just so I know. 4 and Dragon Quarter exist outside of the continuity of the first 3. Or a different universe, I guess. Even the legendary dragons whose might shook the world. Having death become a source of energy in the form of chrism. Well, even the baddest beast dies in the end like everyone else. Oh, God. No one knows how or why the mighty dragons became extinct. All uh, ready for this? This little reveal here? That's a big-ass dragon skull, baby. That's a big-ass dragon. They're excavating it. Um... I have thoughts that I want to get out, but I'll wait until this little... Uh, intro finishes up. I just love the artwork in this game, by the way. The sprite work. This this tale is dedicated to the dragons. All the dragons, baby! Uh, so check out this tapestry. There's, um, oh, I can't remember his name. There's Nina, there's Blue, there's Bo, there's Gobi, there's Ryu. So this tapestry is depicting the events from Breath of Fire 1. Alright. So it might just be nostalgia talking, um, but this is one of the first games I ever got for my PlayStation. Uh, if you listen to the Joypad podcast, I talk about um, what games I got. We're going to go with the default name, which is, of course, Ryu, just like all the other Breath of Fire games. Oh, I'm sorry about the vehicles. But yeah, this is one of the first games I got for my PlayStation. I got Crash Bandicoot 2, Tekken 3. What else did I get? Oh, Mega Man Legends. And the reason I bought this game is because there was an ad in the booklet for Mega Man Legends for this game. And I loved RP. I It just looked super cool to me. So I was like, I gotta play this game. And I got it. And oh man, I love it. Let's do this. Uh, fast message speed, window color, I like green, background, I mean, it doesn't really matter, let's go with this one, sound, stereo, auto run, on, please, alright, let's go. So here are Gary and Mogu from the very beginning that we saw in the intro movie. Okay, explosives are set. What is this, an egg or something? You see ones like this every so often. 
I'll be. Come on, let's get to work already. So they're blowing up the chrism. There's a dragon inside of it, so I don't know how smart that is. But what do I know? I've only played this game before. It's a dragon! Cute little baby dragon. What the? It, it's still alive! Whoa! Ooh, that ain't cool. So contrary to popular belief, you would think that I was playing as Mogu and Gary here. Nope, I am the dragon. So our options right now, here's the battle menu. Uh, this would be items, we can't use items. Examine would be to try to learn enemy skills, can't do that right now. Our options are attack, defend, or use an ability. Uh, if we use the shoulder buttons, Charge just sets you to auto attack and escape, but why would you ever want to escape? Um, we could attack, but we want to use well breath. Because well breath, uh, roasts and toasts those two gentlemen. Uh, so if I had chosen to attack, um, He's not moving. Melted Blade. One of my favorite things about the Breath of Fire games is being able to search most things. It's a fun thing in an RPG. So make sure to get that Melted Blade. This is going to be a little more informed than my Breath of Fire 2 playthrough because I, I've played this game and I know what I'm doing. Um, by the way, Welp Breath, only in the beginning of the game does it, like, outright kill enemies. Throughout the game, it's actually not that great of an ability, I found. Go! Oh. A d dragon a Alive? Are you really a dragon? Yeah. D d dragon So we just gotta run around. Sure, it's noisy out there. Wonder what's going on. So, um, the camera is kind of funky in this game. It's a 3D game, but a lot of stuff, like, is blocked off. So, like, you can see there's a whole portion of the room that we just can't see. And you can move the camera around to see those things, which sometimes that leads to you finding hidden items. So, always do that. Of course, it's the early game, so we're not gonna find much. Ha! I'm not afraid. Let's get it. These dudes are armed with a pipe and a pickaxe. An engineer and a miner. Uh, again, we could attack if they hit us, typically. Yeah, we'll counter with well breath. So. Gotcha. Attacking won't do anything, at least at this point in the game. Uh, we can examine these bodies. It smells burn. Looks like he's dead. Uh, we don't get anything from any more of the bodies, but you can check them, which... Don't hurt me. Alright. And that's the thing, we're not openly hostile. You don't want to eat me, I don't taste good. So if these people don't want to fight, we won't fight them. We're a peaceful dragon, kind of. Oh. Whoa! What are you, some kind of ghost? No, I'm a fucking dragon, bro. It's a monster! So, you know the deal. Do some Welp Breath. Oh, nice try. You missed, but I'm still gonna use Welp Breath. I just, the beginning of this game, when I was a kid, just had me hooked. I was like, I get to be a dragon? Oh, man! He's dead. He's not moving. So this dude over here saw that whole thing go down. Mommy! Don't worry, you're, you're fine. You're fine. The music is pretty good. It's not great. The, I mean, this track itself isn't great either. There's some better music in the game, for certain. 
I think I think I wet my pants. We're cursed. We're doomed. I knew we shouldn't be digging up dead bodies. We're cursed. We're doomed. D -d Don't eat me. Don't breathe fire on me. All right. Cool. You, you you said the magic words. You asked politely. I will do neither of those things. Oh yeah. Ooh, what's that? Somebody! Somebody help! This is where we're supposed to go. Uh, so I'm gonna turn around and I couldn't remember, so I'm gonna check out that other staircase that I did not go down. Just because I wanna show everything off that I, I know, man. I wanna show off every oh It's here! You brave gentlemen. You know how this is gonna end! That's right. Oh yeah. So you're not getting ex any experience at this point in the game. You kind of don't know what's really going on, they just throw you into the thick of things. You're a dragon going around a mine, uh, roasting and toasting people, so... You know. Anyone else I can visit? No, not up here. Anyone up here? Nope. By the way, you will end up coming back to this mine later on. What's this about a dragon, hmm? Oh, look at that dude. Well, well, well. Let's take it alive. This is where we get the real battle music. It's got a nice bass line. Very synth heavy. But it's groovy. Um, of course, as with most games, you'll you'll get sick of it. So let's let's take this guy out. What? No! Don't! So a voice from wherever shows up. Take that! And then uh, we, uh, the little dragon gets its skull crushed by a crane. So that was Breath of Fire 3. I hope you enjoyed it. I do not advocate for the killing of endangered animals. Nah, but really, um, we're going to keep going. It is not cool that uh, they used a crane to knock the dragon out. Kind of cruel, in my opinion. And now it's being transported to where I don't know. We will never know where it was supposed to go. This is the requisite sad music of the game, by the way. So yeah, we wake up, and uh, we don't know where we're supposed, you know, this this scene will go on forever, basically, unless you start trying to move. You could shake the cage, do it a whole bunch, really get into it, and then you fall off the train. And it's time to meet uh, the our, our, our new teammates slash friends in the Cedar Woods. Uh, boink. So there's our new friend, uh, Taylor. Taylor Ham. We're gonna eat him. Darn it! I don't get many chances like that anymore. Nah, almost had it. Oh, come on, what's making that racket? It's a little naked boy! He's got blue hair. You know what that means. That's our protagonist. He's about to get eaten by wolves. Oh, brother. This is just what I needed. Yeah. 
That'll teach you to scare off my dinner. You too. Now why wouldn't you take the meat from them? Now, uh, who might you be? An orphan? Now if you're starving, you're lucky those curs didn't chew you to pieces. Beggars can't be choosers. I guess the bodies disappeared, so that's the argument there. I don't have enough to feed you anyway. Even if I did take you home. M mommy? That's the, I believe, the only line Ryu will speak in this entire game. Alright, alright already. Uncle Ray will take you home. You better appreciate this. So yeah, uh, just like Breath of Fire 2, Ryu is a silent protagonist. I wonder, what were you doing out there by yourself, hmm? And without a strip of clothing. The music in this game is actually really good, I think. It's very groovy. There's a lot of different elements to it as well, which we'll hear the more tracks we get to hear. Where's Ray? I'm hungry. He's home! Hi, Ray. Welcome home. Is that dinner? Boy, you'll eat anything. Won't you, Tipo? So now we have names for our characters. Who is that, anyway? Don't ask me. Let's get him into your bed, okay? So who is he? told you. I don't know. I found him in the woods. Really? Sounds like what happened with me. An orphan. Not surprising. It's been a lean year. Well, why don't we let him sleep while we go to the village? If we don't get some food soon... Somebody abandoned him. Just like me. Who that? We'll find out who that is, and it's going to be a long, long time before we find out who that is. Don't you see, Ryu? You're the same as me. You must understand. They're weak, pitiful, and pathetic. Tedic. Whoa! Hey. She's gonna stare at me? This is weird. Who are you? My. Who you? Nope. Don't like that. Ryu! Oh. Mmm. 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 Delicious. Alright, so now we're back in control of Ryu. Uh, we can see over here is a save point. You see a diary. Do you want to make a record of your journey so far? Yeah. Now... Um, here's the thing, I'm obviously using an emulator so I can do save states, but I'll, you know, I'll save every so often, just to keep the feel of the game. So we can explore the house that uh, we're in. Anything here? You found vitamin. You could search most dressers. Anything here? You found worm. It smells burnt. Fireplaces typically will smell burnt. You can use the camera to look around. This looks like a storage room, so we can't go down there yet. It smells burnt. Looks like a stove. But yeah, we can run around. Things look a little uh, desolate out here. 
But it's the beginning of the game, so we could talk to these enemies. There's also this over here, which later on, um, if you don't realize that's there, there'll be a thing that like makes it fairly obvious. It'll pan over that treasure box. Even though I look like this, I know a thing or two about camping. Come back later with your friends, and I'll tell you everything I know, okay? That's a goblin, typically an enemy, but uh, he's a tutorial monster. Just like uh, that Igu up there. I believe I can go talk to that Igu. Oh, don't be afraid. I won't hurt you. I'm an Igu. I'll tell you all about how to fight. Come back when you've got some equipment. So, I mean, I know how to do all these things, but I might talk to them just because uh, you can get the beginner experience. So if we come over here, I believe this is where uh, Ray found Ryu. I think there's an item to be found over here. You won't get into any encounters right now. Normally this game has a random encounter system. But uh, don't have to worry about that right now. Green apple, hell yeah. So I probably would have gotten into like two or three or four or five while wow, this big area. So probably like four battles by now. And like with my Breath of Fire 2 playthrough, I'll show off some battles, but generally I'll probably edit them out. There's some people hanging out over here. There's an old man named Bunyan who lives here in the wood. Zzz. He's kind of strange. Why else would he want to live by himself in the woods like that? We haven't been able to find much to eat in the forest either. What are we going to do? So we can head out of the forest and out onto the world map with its cool ass um, world map theme. So it's kind of cool. There's several different entrances to the cedar woods. And which one you take in will reflect where you show up there. So like, and you can see that back there, that's Ray's house. I didn't show it off, but that that's Bunyan's house. We can actually see it out on the world map. Uh, we're not getting them right now, but there would be little exclamation points that pop up where you could get into just like a random map, which will have an item and random encounters. So for grinding purposes. You see a pleasant smelling field of flowers. These fields flowers will be important later. This is going to become a fishing spot eventually. And you can also... Usually there's lots of game around here, but not this year. Get a brief description of places. The village where Mayor McNeil's tenant farmers live. Oh, we can't go further down. Okay, so the only place to go right now is into the village of McNeil. This is one of the typical town themes. Whoa! Damn. Out of my house, you punks! Oh, it was a lady. Whoops. <laughs> You'll never catch me. It's no use, Ray. Everyone's watching out for us. Nobody's got much food. What with the poor harvest and all. Hey, Tipo, look at this. Hey, you finally woke up, huh? Ooh. Doesn't this be all? Now we got another mouth to feed. What if we get him to help us, Ray? Good idea. But I think we need to get him out of his pajamas first. Come on. We'll get you fixed up with some equipment. Okay. You may not have been able to steal any food, but I think we can scrounge up some armor and weapons. You just wait, Ryu. Ray will get you set up with something in no time. Um. Huh? Did I just say Ryu? Is that your name? Funny. How did I know that? Maybe I dreamed it? Whoa! Uh-oh, scram! Do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do
do do. That was close, wasn't it, Ray? Sure was. But we were able to get him something to wear. Hurry up, Ryu, don't be a slowpoke. Not used to wearing armor yet, eh? Well, it's better than pajamas, I suppose. What do we do now, Ray? Well, everyone in town's in a bad mood over the poor harvest. I know, let's hit the road. We can do some work there. There's a road up ahead, called the Yural Road. We go there sometimes and, well, mug people. It's not like we hurt people or anything. We should steal from them. I'm not into hurting people, you know. That's right. Even a beginner like you can do it. Come on, don't worry. Let's go. So now we've got our full party. We got Ryu, Tipo, and Rei. Obviously, Rei's the leader of the group, so he's a higher level than the other two. Um, Equipment-wise, he's also got the best equipment. Uh, he's got a better sword, and he's got a shield, whereas Ryu and Tipo are simply armed with a dagger and basic clothes. Rei also has some leather armor. So the reason you want to pick up that melted blade from earlier is it's the next upgrade from the dagger. It's actually got the same stats as the Balak knife. And something I love about this game is it shows you the stats straight up. It shows you your party stats. So we're going to give that to Tipo. Um, what else can we do? So items, fairly explanatory ability, look at your party's abilities, equipment, explanatory tactics. Tactics is where you can change um, your party formation. So normal doesn't do diddly dick for you. What you want to do is do either attack or defense. So the point member's power is raised. Ray is the most powerful, so let's put him in front. You can also do defense, uh, which will raise the defense of everyone. I prefer to go on the attack in this game. Um, the other thing too with the, the attack formation is the point member is more likely to be targeted by enemies. I also have zero zenny. So we can walk around the farm, walk around the village, talk to people. There's a monster living up on Mount Glaus. Comes down and steals our cattle. Between that and the bad harvest, we'd not be able to make it through winter. No reply. It's just a scarecrow. So our next goal is to go down to the road. Man, oh man. I had all this. Just about all of it belongs to Mayor McNeil. We live off what we grow and what we catch in the forest. Haven't been able to get much this year, though. So yeah, I just... I love RPGs, man. And this one holds a special place in my heart. If we go back up this way, we can head back into the village. It's an item shop. Let's see if we can find anything. Anything here? You found Molotov, so that's an attack item. What do you want? There's nothing here for you to steal. Typically, uh, you can buy things. I don't have any money. I have 25 zenny from selling that dagger. Uh, but that's the item shop. The equipment shop is where I will end up spending most of my hard-earned cash. It's you, is it? Well, there's nothing here. You hear me? Nothing for little thieves like you, so get on. Shoot. He'll still sell to us. So, what we want to eventually do is get everyone outfitted with the best weapons. Um, get everyone a bronze sword, get everyone armor, get everyone a claw shield, and get everyone a brass helm. Right now I can't afford any of that stuff, but I'll be back eventually. Explore the rest of town before I call this a video. Here's the inn. Uh, you can pay to rest here. And of course, ah, uh, there's nothing in there check out the other places in the town. There's a couple houses. Sorry, he got nothing for you. There's nothing left here. Anything here? Oh, antidote. Nothing. Alright, let's check out the next house. 
Oh, nothing. Dang. Anything here? You found a healing herb. Healing herb. Alright, one more house to check. Urgh, you little punks. Come looking for trouble again. Nothing. Nothing. I guess they really did have nothing. Damn. Alright, so let's head out of town. So something else you can do, which I live in this game, is you can camp. That exclamation point would lead me to one of those random battlefields I talked about. So camping is pretty sweet. It lets you rest and save your game at any point on the world map. Hey, you know about what you can do in camp? You can rest and heal HP or make a record of your journey. If you want to know more, take a look at the book in the tent. So you can camp anywhere on the world map, basically. You can rest for free. However, there's a caveat to that. Caveat? Caveat? If you get knocked down in battle, when someone is revived, their maximum HP is lowered. And it would be highlighted in yellow to show that. If you rest in camp, it doesn't do it. Like, you'll get raised to that lowered max HP. If you want to get your max HP back to its appropriate level, you have to rest at an inn or in a bed. A camp Camping won't do it. When you're on the road and there's no inn around, or when you're poor, you can always camp out, right? I hopefully won't have to show that out off, but, you know. You can look at, uh, you know I'll get into this stuff another time. I'm gonna save the game, and we're gonna call this an episode. Oh, I'm so excited to play this game. I know I said I wasn't gonna play an RPG, but I can't help it. I wanted to play this so bad, so I hope you guys will stick with me. Thank you for watching. I greatly appreciate it, and we're starting this new adventure together. I will see you next time. Stay joyful. Bye-bye.